Because I'm Germany! Chapter 3, America's Heroic Quest! Once upon a time, there lived an alien called Tony. He used to hang around on Earth, but then had to go on a top-secret mission in outer space! So he left for 500 years. Then he came back to see what was happening on Earth. Omeg, oh, what is this? When he landed in his kawaii UFO, he could see no people anyway. This is strange. When I left, there were like billions of them. How could they all have disappeared. Tony was very puzzled, and so he decided to fly around Earth to see where everyone was. Eventually, he found a big puddle of melted nation. What's happened here? Wait, maybe I can bring them back. So Tony did some weird alien thing, and suddenly, a nation appeared! Oh, hey, Tony, what happened to everyone? It was like Shinatis fell out of the sky and everyone started melting. Can we go and get some hamburgers now? Of course, the nation who was revived was America! I'm afraid not, America. Everyone else is dead. But I know how to get them back. You need to find the evil scientists and save the world. Be the hero, America! Be the hero! With that, Tony faded away. America was now all alone. Yes! I will be the hero! Da -zo! America stood there for like seven hours in a heroic pose, despite the fact that it was Russian and therefore... Negative 839548357847937487478 degrees outside. But it was okay. Heroes don't get frozen by Russia. Da -ze. I will find the scientists and be the hero. And so America went on his heroic journey. On the way, he met a zombie dinosaur, the same one that ate Queen Dora the Explorer and Princess Yuki, coincidentally. The dinosaur roared at him, and America got scared and said, You're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air! Those were the magic words that destroyed all zombies, so the dinosaur died and America was able to continue onwards. Eventually, America reached the ocean and was like, Oh, I can't swim! Fortunately, a passing whale offered to take him across the sea, obviously Moby Dick. It was then that America realized that he didn't know where the evil scientist lived. Hey you, well! Where does the evil scientist live? I need to know because I'm on a heroic quest! If you tell me, I will give you this half-eaten cheeseburger, Dazo! The whale agreed to take him to the evil scientist's lair, but gave the cheeseburger to a passing seahorse because it was lactose intolerant. Eventually, they reached their destination, and the whale threw America out. Thanks, whale! When I'm finished with my heroic quest, come to my house and I will make you president or something! The whale made that moany sound that whales do and left. America was alone again, but TTL, why not scared you guys? Even though there were probably ghosts and shit in this evil lair, he went inside but froze when he heard a voice. America, what the F are you doing here, eh? Who the fuck are you? I've never seen you before. I'm Canada, your brother, eh? Who? Canada, eh? This continues onward for a while. Who? Enough! I will destroy you now, eh? America was now TTLY scared. The strange person who kept saying eh and smelled like maple syrup was going to try and kill him. The hero! This evil deed could not go unpunished. However, he first had to destroy the evil scientist. Um, Canadia, or whatever your name is, can you tell me where the evil scientist is? I need to kill him to bring everyone back to life. Die! Canada laughed maniacally. You fool, America. I am the evil scientist. Eh? This is my revenge for everyone forgetting me. And then America was like, whatever, and shot him in the face. Don't you try and kill the hero, Dazo! Tony, I did it! I killed the evil scientist! Tony appeared out of nowhere and congratulated America. Well done, America! The world is back to normal. You truly are a hero. And then they went home, and everything was fine. Except Spain was dead, because he wasn't killed by the evil scientist, so he never came back. And then they woke up, and it was all a dream.